the Lizard Peninsula in Cornwall. This footage is captured by a Puma Navy drone, a test flight showcasing the latest technology being developed for military use. In the sky, blink and you might miss it. The Puma All Environments is used for surveillance uh, that we can fly at height, fly it well out of the way of enemies or out of line of sight and we can then capture information that can then further be used to develop missions. Uh, the advantage of it is not, be, not having to launch an aircraft, uh, put anyone in danger, uh, so it's good to know that when we go out we can plan missions. The Puma drone has roughly a 2.5 metre wingspan and can fly for 20 kilometres. It's controlled from an operating console and the information it captures feeds straight into a computer. Everything personnel have learned here means in a few weeks' time, for the first time ever, Navy-owned and operated drones will be ready for deployment from ships and other vessels. A new way of working. We are um, educating uh, both ourselves and the rest of the Navy in how these can complement and then be um, integrated into the rest of the fleet. So what we're trying to do is free up manned aviation. So the Merlin numbers, for example, uh, if we can put drones doing some of the tasks that they were doing, you free up Merlin hours and they can concentrate on the stuff that manned aviation is good at. They've already been tested in more extreme environments, but the basic training in Pradanic is where it all starts. This is an old World War II airfield. They train here because it's near Cold Rose, it's next to the sea and there's protected airspace. Beginners start out on a much smaller drone than the Puma, but they still have their uses on the battlefield. Fundamentals of it are trying to extend your area of coverage. So for example on Bravos they might just want to see what's on the other side of a wall or a fence um, and they can launch a small system and it will hop over the fence and they can see who or what is on the other side. It's hoped this technology will enhance future operations. So far over 700 students have been trained here. So before I joined the squadron I had no uh, remote pilot air system um, experience at all so I'm an aircraft controller so I'm used to, to being at sea, being in the tower um, or the, the UAV system is very very new to me. It's pretty much like playing the Xbox. Um, once you get the hang of it then it's you, you just get it. It might take a couple of minutes to, to figure out what's what but once, once you get the hang of it it's, it's like driving. The Navy drone team is expected to go on its first deployment by the end of the year revolutionising the way the Royal Navy operates. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.